Hey y'all, um, here's another way that you guys can uh, prep your canvases. I've got a little 8x10 here. Um, whenever it comes to things like portraits or any kind of still life um, that you would like to have your canvases smooth, um, this is the technique that I've started using. Um, I, had the, I had the bright idea of starting using one of these rollers brushes will leave the the uh, strokes and stuff and it's, those are really really hard to get out but if you do have to use a brush i have another technique but for this one i'm going to use this little four inch roller i bought from walmart and uh, the only real thing is, is you need the roller and then the gesso i like to use is jerry world's greatest jerry's gesso look at it it's, as you see it's super super creamy um, I like its consistency because um, you can water it down and it won't um, have those little, that granulated effect. But um, I really super like this. This is great, great, great for um, getting a super smooth surface. What I've also started doing too is from Hobby Lobby, they've got watercolor panels. And all you gotta do is just gesso it and you can use it for um, oils. And that's super, super smooth. And it won't cost you an arm and a leg. But here, let me show you how to do this. It's just, just like you're, just like you're painting a, um, a wall. You just put your stuff, put your stuff. <laughs> you just put your um, gesso here, kind of smear it out just a little bit. And then take your roller. What I would do, and this is what I normally do, is I take and I will dampen this a little bit. Because for some reason, whenever it is super dry, it um, doesn't like to be as smooth. So I just dampen it just a little bit. And roll it out. And it'll get all in those grooves. You can do, um, say about, I want to think you could probably get away with just doing two layers. This, they do, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but they do have the tiniest little bit of texture. But I'll show you how to get rid of that. I always want to put something under it because... It is messy, that is for sure. I only had a, a, a painting brush with me today, so I guess you could use a, you know, whatever, spoon or whatever you want to use. But this will get it even, and what I'll do is I'll let this dry. Nice and even. Okay, now what I do next is I have one of these little dollar bottles that I got from Dollar General or you can even get them from Sally's. I think Sally's will sell them too for I want to think like a dollar ninety nine or something. But you just spray oops oh, sorry. You just spray it lightly. Like that. And it'll settle down that that texture. And uh, you can let it dry like that. And then what you'll do after that is you'll sandpaper, like I'm gonna think that I use the 220 grit. It's super duper fine. And once this dries, uh, you'll sandpaper it, then you'll do another layer, then you'll sandpaper and do another layer of sandpaper. You know, you can do as many layers as you want to get the desired, whatever result you wanna get. So that's this one. If it's still not to your liking, after that, uh, what you could do, and I have one of these here. Sorry, that was my bag. Get you a paper towel, or even if you just have a Kleenex. But I normally get paper towel, and the ones that I use is Viva, because like you see, they don't have any texture whatsoever. You wanna get the ones that have no texture. And so just pull you off a piece, and this one is, is really, it's almost like a, like a hand towel, it's just so thick. Sorry. While your um, canvas is wet, 
put it over your canvas. Tap just ever so lightly, ever so lightly. And then peel back very, very gently, not fast because then you'll start pulling peaks with it too. And then um, it will pull off some product, but uh, not, not a whole lot. So you'll let that dry, sand it, do another layer, let that dry, sand it, do another layer. Now with, if you don't have one of these rollers like this, I would suggest you could um, just use a, a brush. Get a brush that's big enough to where you only have to make a few swipes. And then get your, your paper towel that doesn't have any print on it. And then just do what we did like that. Just put it on there and pat and then pull it up, pull it back ever so gently. And once that dries, sand it, do another layer, sand it until you know you get it to the um, consistency you like. If you don't want to do that, just save yourself the headache and buy the ultra smooth canvases. They they are they are a little more expensive, but they are kind of worth the aggravation, if you know what I mean. And um, it's kind of worth you know spending the extra couple dollars on a panel or a um, a gallery wrap just to have to avoid doing all this. But this is this is really good to do for practice and just for knowledge. And if you just already have these in stock. Um, but that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just give me just let me know in the comments below. And oh oh yeah and I will put these what the um, these on the uh, description that way you'll know exactly what I'm using. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.